guys, it's Katie from Shara Ranch Homestead. Today I am making some foaming hand soap. So I love Bath and Body Works foaming hand soap, but I missed the like semi-annual sale. I thought I ordered and then I didn't. And I already had like everything to make um, the soap. So I decided just to go ahead and do it. My original plan years ago when I was raising dairy goats was to um, learn how to make liquid goat milk soap. I was already making bar soap using full process, but I wanted to learn how to make liquid. But then life happened and I moved away and I didn't have goats anymore and I never did that. So I decided even though I'm not making my own liquid soap, I would go ahead and buy some Dr. Bronner's and use that to make my own foaming liquid hand soap, just like you get from Bath & Body Works, or at least that's what I'm hoping. So I have an old bottle of Bath & Body Works um, foaming hand soap, and I have a brand new bottle um, that's never been used. So I'm gonna make soap using both bottles and see how it turns out. So I'm gonna start with the old um, Bath and Body Works one. And first I add my soap. So I'm gonna So first I measured out two ounces of Castile um, liquid hand soap from Dr. Bronner's. Um, you could, I'm sure you could use any um, one. This is just what I'm using. And I can't see over her head very well, so hopefully I'm being there. All right. Then we're gonna put six ounces of water in. I'm hoping that this is not gonna be too much. And then an ounce of olive oil. And then I'm just gonna use a pipette and I'm gonna use warm vanilla sugar fragrance. I'm gonna use like 15-ish drops. And I'll walk it and then I'll shake it. see how it works. Oh, it seems to work. got one down. I didn't bother taking off the uh, thing, but this should work. So that was really easy to make. Let's do a second one real quick with the, um, with the energy fragrance oil from Brambleberry. All right, I got everything measured out again. Again, we're gonna start with two ounces of liquid soap. I'll just go ahead and put the olive oil in now too. Okay. And that was an ounce of that. And you could use whatever liquid oil you want. And this time I'm using a citrusy fragrance. 
and like 15 to 30 drops. And I'll shake it to mix it up. And unlock it. That's not coming out as good. That's a little bit better. So not too bad. All right, so the two bottles um, were definitely different. I'll have to ex see over time if uh, it's just these pumps aren't as good as what I'm getting from Bath and Body Works. Um, luckily, I have a few of these stashed. If these don't work, if these don't work, I have a bunch of them and I'm just gonna get rid of them if they don't work. Um, and if they, and if I want to eventually maybe get some reusable ones off of Amazon as well, maybe those will be better. I don't know, this did pump. I'll show you. This pumps almost identical or pretty much identical to what you would buy at Bath and Body Works. So I'm happy with that. And actually this one is doing a bit better now too. So um, it just probably needed to be primed. So I think this was a great idea. Um, going ahead and making these liquid soaps and as you can see like I think this was like 12 bucks for this whole bottle I'm gonna be set for basically life um not really but a long time um and you can put whatever fragrances you can put essential oils you can put fragrance oils um and I think this is gonna be so much fun to experiment and play with different fragrances and customize them. Um, if you have any questions about how I made this foaming liquid hand soap, um, leave them in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of what we do on our home set, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, um, one more thing. Why not just use regular liquid soap? Well, I will tell you why. Water waste. Um, you use less water to get your hands, to get this rinsed off your hands. You use less soap to wash your hands, unless you're someone that I know um, that uses way too much soap when they wash their hands. Um, but use less soap, use less water. Overall, it is extremely economical to use these foaming hand pumps. Um, again, I will see you guys next time. Bye.